So we've got ourselves another evolution to go through. It's going to be backline to frontline. So this is going to be a very different sort of evolution. We've got a, a decent upgrade for them. So if we have a look at it, it will take any 80... Well, in fact, if we go that way, that might be better. So it will take any 86 or 86? Yeah, 86 all the way up to 91, which is always perfect. You'll also end up with a double playstyle plus of aerial and also power header. And you'll also end up with, I believe, a... Let's have a look. What is it? Is it a... You get an extra weak foot, I'm pretty sure. Do you, do you get a skill move? No, just the weak foot. So in terms of the upgrade, not the worst. In terms of how to do it, three matches on squad battles, two wins, score one goal with the Evo, win three squad battle matches, and two score with your Evo as well. So in total, you are looking at a solid eight matches at the minimum. You also get a striker out of this as well. Oh no, it's... Oh no, you get the quick step as well as just a normal play style. So straight off the bat, if you was to have a look and see what you can actually get in this, Cap de Villa is going to be a shout if you really wanted him as a striker. Finally, we can get him to 91 if you really wanted to, but I don't think it's necessarily going to be... Oh, I like that. I didn't know it put it up there. That's pretty cool. So is it... Why does it do that, though? Because obviously, it's say we got Ilya Mende. Ah, very weird. I don't know why. What does it do all that for? Because obviously, it says a plus one weak foot, but then it's got... A five next to it. We'll kind of have a look on footbin anyway. But in terms of this upgrade, you're looking pretty decent. You're obviously taking any 86 that you've got. Someone like a Tenale, like you look at the ratings to start with. When they finish, I mean, it's not the worst in the world, especially if it is going to be free as well. You do get the striker position if you wanted. I don't know how much that's going to actually be useful. So let's have a look and see what we can actually get from this. So if we was looking on footbin, you are going to get 14 shooting, 4 passing, 2 defending, 3 physical, the power shot... Is that right? Power shot plus. Is that broken or me? Or is that me? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I'm right. So you get the power shot as a play style. It always, it always throws me with this plus here. So you get the power shot as a normal style. You get a quick step as a normal style. Five overall, five pace, six dribbling. Aerial play style plus as well as power header, the weak foot, and also a striker position. So on the basis of this then, let's have a look at who's going to be the best option. Because you'd kind of want... What was the, what was the actual requirements for this, in fact? Max 86 we knew, 86 pace, 88 dribbling, eight minimum 80 defending, uh, three total positions, seven max play styles, no play style pluses. So you kind of want it. Can be technically any position, but you are it will it will have definitely kind of favoured a few. You're not going to have many strikers or cams with 80 defending as well. So I, I was kind of looking for a centimeter. Goretzka might not be a bad shout. I'm just seeing if there's anybody. Because you normally want to try for the top rating that you can. Tonali, like I said, is not a bad one. Goretzka in himself, though. We're looking at... Ooh, 85, 96, 87, 90, 83, 90. If you was then going to obviously go with the shadow on him, you'd end up with 93 and 90. I mean, that is a phenomenal card. Finally, a, a decent upgrade because you don't have to put them in striker. That's the big thing about it. So that already, compared to his 92, like I mean, it's not that much lower. And I guarantee, what's that 92 coming in at? Nine, 900k, give or take. I know the 86, 86 more than likely is going to be 65k extinct. But if you can get him, I mean, it's not the worst in the world. I wonder, do we have the favourites yet? I always like to see what everybody else is looking at. So we've got back to front line. We haven't got it yet. I wonder, in fact, do we have Foot Wizards one yet? Oh, no. Have they been updated yet? Oh. Wow. That's the first time Foot Wizards has uh, not been updated straight away. So we'll have a look at that one in a minute anyway. If it does update, it might not be updating just yet. So in terms of kind of where we're looking... Obviously, when you do look at someone like a Cancelo, a Cap de Villa, they're definitely not the bad option. And at the minimum, if there's not one that you want to do, potentially just as a fodder player, if anything. I know it's eight matches that you're probably not going to do, but 86 into the 91, it's a good fodder option if you wanted to do it as well. This is where I think the multiple evolutions really should come in now. There is a lot of evolutions to do. And even though some of them now are not like quite the 15 to 20 matches, you still don't want to put eight matches into a player that's going to be fodder at the end of it. 
if we was to look then, because I feel like the positions you're going to be looking at predominantly is going to be fullbacks and centre mid CDMs. What does Bruno Gomez go to? Because he hasn't got another card. He's obviously had an 87 that you could have done. Oh, that would have been annoying then. If you put him in Road to the U, you couldn't technically put him in here. 81 pace. So again, you'd go with probably the shadow. 89, 91. It turns a, a CDM or a centre mid really nicely into that. So he obviously gets the one plus weak foot. So I don't know what that weak foot was with a five next to it. I don't know if it's just telling you that it's been upgraded or not. But obviously, it's not. it's only a plus one on there. Then if we look at like Chan, I feel like they're gonna be they're gonna be the favourites in my opinion. When it comes to Cancelo, you you've got loads of options that you could have done. So I personally wouldn't have bothered with that one to be honest, because you're not necessarily getting the defending upgrades. It's where I personally think going for the center de center defensive mids or center mids would at least give you a slight bonus there because they'd already have a decent amount of attacking and defensive style as well. Even if we look at Moreno, you're looking at a 91 as the A6. Some decent stats. If we go with the Shadow again, 88 pace. Has a bit of shooting if you really wanted to box to box him. 89 on passing, 90 dribbling. Then you add the Shadow for 94 defending and an 87 there. It's a 93 center mid. I personally think that's going to be the best option for this. Just looking straight at it and thinking, what would I personally want out of this? When we do look at the fully evolved, we've obviously got a lot of 91s. When it comes to the... To be fair, even Hermoso doesn't look terrible. Like, obviously, it's going to be less shooting than the center mids. But you could easily whack a shadow on him and be more than happy. So obviously you've got the 86 physicality. You're looking at a 93 centre back there. I suppose that's not terrible either as well. So if I was kind of having to pick my favourites out of that, I'm thinking Cancelo probably wouldn't. Militao is nice, but he has got a better upgrade and there is a defensive upgrade. I would much prefer to go for that that kind of CDM. Kessie is obviously not a bad option either. Kalulu with the 88 pace, Pau Torres... If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7 Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. See, I really like the Cap de Villa, but it is just a shame that he's just not had anything else. Tonal is definitely not a bad shout whatsoever, especially because he's had nothing naturally so that one would be an interesting one we have obviously got some squad foundations in here as well it's not it's not bad i probably tonale is definitely looking one of my favorites with bruno g if you've done the sbc like i said with the what is it the road to the knockout road to the goo or whatever it was with any sbc cards i'd be more inclined to put them in just because I can't physically pack them again, so I might as well go higher. But you could wait and, and get him into a better one. That That's always the case. If you're kind of waiting out for that big evolution, this one could be a decent one because I don't think you're going to get much more shooting out of him. Whereas you can still go with a shadow, max out as much pace as possible, but then also get in the max amount of defending. I, I really don't think this is a bad one. If I was to pick three... I think Tonale would be a great shout. Goretzka's looking phenomenal in that upgrade. 90-90 on that pace and uh, defending is going to be really good with all the other good stats. Then, if I was to pick defenders, I don't ever go with a Cancelo because there's loads of other ones for him. Hermoso doesn't look terrible, especially because he was an SBC for Fallout, I want to say, in the triple threat, if that is the triple threat card. Other than that, Kalulu's not a bad shout. Is that the road to the... No yeah, it's the road to the... Is that the road to... That's a road to the knockout. So that puts a good use into it. Again, if you've not done the road to the goo. Have we got any popular yet? They should really do this pretty quickly, but... Back to the front line. Nothing. Let's have a look and see if Footwiz have managed to uh, sort themselves out here. We've still not got anything. Well, that is that is very strange for them to be this late on it. Normally, they're pretty quick and hot on it. So I would say for me, Goretzka is going to be my number one shout. I think if you've got him already, that's going to be brilliant. Tanale is a gold going into it. Not bad whatsoever. Ooh, what's Di Lorenzo, in fact? Di Lorenzo, what version? The Trailblazer. Oh, yeah, of course, 86. So if you're looking at him... You could go for something like, could you just go anchor 95, 90, 91? I mean, again, we, we've had a lot of fullbacks. That's the kind of problem with them at the moment, especially even center backs. So I would be ushering more towards a midfielder more than anything because we've had so many defenders over the past couple of weeks, which have just absolutely smashed it. 
I personally would look at kind of that centre mid CDM. Moreno, uh, Goretzka, Tonale, obviously squad foundations, like I said, any SBC players you've got. Then I'd be kind of looking later on with, with other players if you are struggling with them. Is there any other kind of ones that take my name at the moment? It's got Goretzka there. What else have we got? Anybody good? You've got a Goretzka 90, so obviously you could do the 85 if you want. So you can technically get it a lot easier if you're doing just the gold but i would really try and spend that 65 if you can just to get it done because it's really not a bad price whatsoever then lewis dunk alex scott could go into this not a bad shout there as well to be fair to it but stoney ah, the pace doesn't go up enough to be honest umper meccano umper meccano looks good 91 pace on him that's a good center what's that coming from just an inform i guarantee that's going to go higher because Surely you'd go anchor on him, I'd imagine. 94 pace, 93 defending, 92 physical. I mean, that's not bad whatsoever, is it? 94 centre back has the aerial and obviously the power header. So the only problem for me with that with that style is having the power power header and and um, the aerial because. It's only the aerial that I really want out of that. I've got Virgil already, so I'd rather have that in the midfield. Kind of have somebody that could potentially go up for the headers as well. It's never a bad shout in itself. It's a decent evolution, I must admit. It's, an, it's a nice upgrade overall as well. So that for me is, is definitely worth looking at at the minimum, especially when they are free. You can never really complain too much on that one. So let me know down below what you're going to go for, though. Make sure you do like and subscribe on this. I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.